Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max the Devil's Playhouse, where we're in Stinky's Diner again, and Flint Paper is interrogating Stinky. Now, we need to try and figure out what Grandpa Stinky's favourite cake is, so that we can make it. I'm guessing that's probably going to have something to do with mind reading, so we're going to try that, see if that works. Um, we can also use the dummy at some point for something, um, I would imagine probably in this seance. A party? <laughs> A likely story. Still, it would be nice to get a slice of upside down Uzbekian blood cake surprise. What is that? How are we supposed to know what that is? Let's use it on these guys as well. The dame was a symphony of ice and sarcasm, and I was the out of tune sax player trying to horn in on her action. The rabbit listened to the music and wondered if he tuned into the wrong station. <laughs> well, Flint even thinks in barely applicable metaphors. <laughs> he does. Shaka, his mind blown. <laughs> All right. I can't believe I need Flomo and the Bean to get me out of here. And I can't believe that Stinky keeps coming up with insulting nicknames for us in her head. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Um, Star, we... Tars. Art. No, I don't. Me. I don't want to. A party? <laughs> a likely story. Still, it'd be nice to get a slice of upside down Uzbekian blood cake surprise. Alright, I wonder if we can ask him what that is, because that is, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's quite particular. Uh, don't you have an alleged birthday party to attend to? Yeah, about that. Uh, let's ask him about the cake. You're really gonna love the birthday cake we made. I'll believe it when I see it. The ingredients for my favorite cake are so rare that I haven't eaten a bite of it in years. Hmm, okay. Doesn't look like we can. Oh, we're off to plan your party. Don't go anywhere. I'll get my fancy tuxedo ready. <laughs> All right. Let's see if Stinky knows about the ingredients. I'm guessing maybe not, but can we? Hey, Flint. I can't grab now, Sam. I gotta keep my peepers on Miss Congeniality here in case she tries to make another break for it. All right. So we can't talk to her. Well, we're gonna need to find out how how we um, make this cake and I have no idea how we're going to do that to be honest. Let's head back to Bosco's and we'll, um, well Bosco Tech Labs I should say because it's not Bosco's is it? And we'll see if we can use this um, ventriloquist dummy on the seance and then we'll go for... Where's the music gone? Why has the music just disappeared? There we go. It started again now. <laughs> that was really weird. Music just switched itself off. Um, okay, so can we start this? Another ludicrous seance? I'm starting to get a little embarrassed for you. Well, that's ironic. <laughs> Gentlemen. Here we go. Mortimer, come out and play. Right, let's see if we can use the ventriloquist dummy. Um, I mean, I guess we would use it on Super Bowl, right? Oh no, maybe Morty, the picture. Morty, uh, Harry! Uncle Morty? Yes, it's your Uncle Morty! <laughs> you sound weird. I've got a cold! <laughs> I've got a cold. In heaven? Who said I was in heaven? If it's really you, then tell me the secret you kept from me all these years. Um, let me think about it. All right. Might have, to, might have to switch to mind reading for this one. He needs a friend now since he... Come on, Morty, come on. Tell me where you hid your stamp collection. Right, the stamp collection. The power of Max compels you. <laughs> I like that you're combining the um, different I powers. Believe, I believe! Spirits of the underworld speak to me! I didn't say that. <laughs> Tell me! Uncle Morty? My stamp collection is hidden. Yes? In the attic. Yes? Of the Statue of Liberty! I knew it! It's a miracle! Thank you, Uncle Morty! Thank you, Max! Uh, what is going on? It appears that Mr. Mullen's leap of faith has allowed the POTUS to make contact with our target, sirs. Oh my god. Yes! <gasps> Thanks for the rescue, boys. There we go. 
Flashco, what happened to you? I don't know. I was looking into all these rampaging Sam clones when all of a sudden my spirit started pinballing through all sorts of nightmarish heck dimensions. If your seance hadn't anchored me to this plane of existence, I might never have found my way home. Oh dear. It seems that the boundaries between realities are decaying. I'd best alert my superiors. <laughs> okay, hey, fine, I you do that. I was your superior. Of course you are, sir. Yeah, of course you are. You're definitely in charge, Max. And I uh, need to tell my girlfriend in uh, Winnipeg. <laughs> you, you do that. All right, Way well, they're gone. Room, Mama B. Good. Now maybe we can get to the bottom of this mess. Yeah, maybe. All right, let's um, let's try talking to her and see if we can figure out what the hell has been going on around here. Where is she? Oh, she's all the way up there. Okay. Hey, Dr. Mama Bosco. Can we ask you a few questions? Can it wait? I'm very busy trying to figure out where all these Sams came from. It'll only take a minute. Fine. Uh, let's ask about her. What are you doing? Same as you two. I'm trying to find out who's behind all these clones. Okay. Can we help with the clones? Got any ideas on how to stop the clones? Um, no. Not really. Oh, good. Uh, Bosco. I'm sure Bosco will be okay. Yeah, a Las Vegas wedding will be just the thing to center his restless spirit. I wish that were true, but I just know this will all end in tears. And lawsuits. <laughs> and shirtless <laughs> raid by the police. Okay, your clone tanks? Max and I were taking a closer look at those underground cloning tanks. Yes. And they've got Bosco tech written all over them. That's horrible. Someone must have snuck into my lab and stolen all my cloning equipment. Hmm. Not sure about that. Who do you think broke into your lab to steal all your cloning equipment? Well, whoever wanted an army of Sam clones, obviously. Well, duh, Sam. <laughs> yeah, obviously, Sam. All right, well, um, should we give her this letter from, um... From Bosco. Hey, Dr. Mama, we got some mail from baby Bosco. Really? Hold it up for me so I can read it. Hmm. Hmm. Twenty thousand dollars? Roscoe Bosco, what sort of hustler you got <laughs> Roscoe yourself Bosco. into? Roscoe <laughs> Bosco. His name's Roscoe. <laughs> oh dear. Mama B? Yes? She got anything else? You can No, okay, fine. Let's see if we can use any of the um toys of power on her though. Uh, where is she? Up there. If anyone ever finds out I was hired to build those clone tanks, I'm done for. So it was her. If anyone ever finds out I was hired to build those clone tanks, I'm done for. Okay, well, we know that much now. Can we future vision? We can future vision. So for some reason she goes down there towards where the cloning tanks are. Interesting. Um, is there anything else we can? No, it's nothing else. Now where I leave that Heisenberg, Mama B? Yes. Can we? Who hired you? Give it up, Mama Bosco. We know someone paid you to build those cloning tanks. Who was it? Stinky, paperweight, Professor Plum? <laughs> I don't know! Lies. All I know is, a few months ago, an anonymous donor wired me a bajillion bucks in exchange for a few hundred of my experimental cloning tanks. I knew it was shady, but times are tough for a single dead mother with a money hemorrhaging research lab. <laughs> so I took the gig and looked the other way. Another victory for unregulated capitalism! Yay! Alright, well, claim master. This anonymous donor, anything you can tell us about him? Turn offs, turn ons, the last four digits of his social security number. <laughs> we only spoke over the phone. He had a creepy, high pitched voice. High pitch. Sam, you don't think it could be the soda? Don't oh, even no. think of it, buddy. I mean, it could be that the soda poppers are behind all of this. Anything else you can remember about the mastermind who bought all those clone tanks? Aside from the squeaky voice, no. Oh, and he paid me in cash. Really old cash. Okay, so someone potentially from the past. Now that we've established that the clones came out of your machines, is there any way we can shut them down? Well, there should be a biometric override built into all of my clone control centers, but... Oh, I hate the sound of your butts. <laughs> but my handprint is the only one that can activate the override. Right. Without a body, you don't have handprints. 
or the right to vote. <laughs> All right, I've got an idea. About that override. Mm -hmm. I don't have an if idea. Could clone but... a body for you. Could you activate the biometric control? That's huh. uh, bug loving insane. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Of course, it'll have to be a perfect clone with a hundred percent of my DNA. No problem. Um, got any lying around? Only this. As far as I know, this is the only remaining sample of my DNA in the world. And even this is only 99% complete. Hmm. You'll either have to find some more or get some DNA from one of my family members so I can do a splice job. No problem. Consider yourself cloned. Family members? Mm, I mean, Bosco? Say, would some of your son's DNA work to fill in the gaps in your DNA sample? Sure. Good luck finding any, though. Yeah. Say... Would some of your son's DNA work to fill in the gaps in your DNA sample? Sure. Good luck finding any, though. All right. Cloning? So all we have to do is plunk your DNA sample into your clone cooker and bingo bango, brand new Dr. Mama Bosco body, right? No. First, you have to find some more Bosco DNA to fill in the gaps in the sample. I'm not really sure how we could do that. How could we possibly get more Bosco <laughs> DNA? I mean, did we ever find out who Bosco's dad was? We did, didn't we? Um, so that could potentially be an option. <clears throat> so, I mean, Sal, we might be able to do something with the machine. The Blaster Blaster machine. Potentially. I'm, I'm guessing the person who hired her is Paperweight, given that he was, he had old money. We know Paperweight's been around for a long time. Stealing mission that'll no doubt bring about the end of the world. It makes me proud to see my clones going about their labor so diligently. <laughs> oh. Sam, whoops! <laughs> All right, let's see if we can use the um, the ventriloquist dummy to distract these guys again, so we can get over to the machine. You stupid mutts! I'm still in here with all my toys! 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 Alright, fine. We'll do that. Let's, um... Did we mind read Sal? I can't remember if we did. Dooby dooby -doo. Yeah, we did. Stacking some crates up. Dooby dooby -doo. <laughs> We did. Alright, let's head over there. We'll see if we can find out anything. Maybe there can be some Bosco DNA here, actually. Hey, BB. I will annihilate you with kindness! Um, that's gonna be a no. See you, Buster. I have become death! I mean, could it potentially be the letter? The letter could maybe be it. Where do we get this page from? It's a page from an illuminated manuscript detailing an incident with something called the Destroyer. And lo, did Brother Acidophilus return in a flash of light from the giggling realm of skittering ingestion, armed with the Cathonic Destroyer. Though giggling and plagued with visions of skittering insects, noble Acidophilus smote the beasties from the dark dimension with the Destroyer. His enemies laid low. Acidophilus returned the Destroyer to the gibbering realm and resumed his peaceful life of molitude. <laughs> Years later, he was eaten by a crazed beast. Huh. Okay, well, that's quite interesting. Uh, not what I thought we would be doing here, though. So, I mean, we could may maybe there's some DNA on the letter, potentially. It's Bosco's letter to Mama Bosco. Ew, he got Bosco spit all over the envelope. Yeah. Bosco always was a bit of a drawer. There we go. So that's the answer, isn't it? Let's head back. Bosco tech. So we actually had it with us anyway. It's the letter. So I guess because we did let's, that weird thing again when the music stopped. See, so yeah, I'm guessing maybe this would be the point where you would go and get the letter, but we got it ahead of time. Uh, so where do we put this stuff? Does it? Where do we where do we put all this? The cloning machine. Where is the cloning machine? I better That's what get she it. Said, right, be. wasn't it? Yes. How do we do this? So all we have to do is plunk your DNA sample into your clone cooker and bingo bango, brand new Dr. Mama Bosco body, right? 
No. First, you have to find some more Bosco DNA to fill in the gaps in the sample. All right, well, I mean, is it a case of giving her this again? Hey, this letter's practically swimming in Bosco saliva. Could it be used to fill out your missing DNA? That might work. Nice. Yeah, sure, give it a shot. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Um, I love it when scientists say that. I can think of some things that could probably go quite wrong. Where do we use this stuff? Do we use it in the clone chamber? I'm guessing we probably do. Because this is where all the tanks and everything are. Oh, is it behind... Is it behind that? Oh, it is. We're not getting anywhere near that clone cooker DNA receptacle until we get rid of those tentacles. Oh, we're going to need to find a way to get rid of these tentacles then. Hmm. According to Norrington, a.k.a. Yog sagoth some other denizen of the Dark Dimension must have summoned those dangerous tentacle creatures. It's too bad they aren't green. I hear they're the friendly ones. <laughs> nice. Day, uh, Day of the Tentacle reference there. Can we shoot this? No, that'd be a waste of bullets. We cannot. Alright, so I'm guessing we're not going to be able to just put this in here then. Nope. I don't think we'll be doing any cloning until we get rid of those tentacles. <laughs> oh boy, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so potentially we need this thing then. This thing that gets rid of the tentacles and sends them back to the dark dimension. Not sure where we're going to get that though. And I'll tell you what, we're out of time anyway, so we'll try and figure that out in the next one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul for the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadin, Paulione, and Flossy the Sheep. And I'll see you next time.